In this video, we will see how can you capture a photograph in your Android phone and crop it and finally save it in your external storage as well. So the working of the app is going to be something like this. You need to give permissions for camera and storage because these permissions are required. We have to use, uh, we have used intent to use the camera and cropping of image and we have used file class to reach out to the external storage where photo is stored. So now let me take you to the Android Studio. But before that, let me give you the working, I'll show you how does this app really work in a mobile phone. And then we'll go to Android Studio. Let's see a demo of this app. So I'm going to click on the first icon that is a camera icon so that I can open the camera. The camera opens up, I take an image, I tick it, and then I'm then given an option to crop the image. So I click on just once. I'll crop the image and then I'll save it. As you can see, there's a toast file has been saved. Your photo has been saved in the gallery. Now, if I go inside the gallery and check it, uh, it will be there. And now uh, the another thing which I can do is I can go directly into gallery by click on the second icon, which is there, uh, which is basically a small image icon there, uh, just right to the camera icon. So if I click on that and uh, I'm shown gallery here, so I'll enter the gallery now. I'll take the second edge here and then I'll be cropping it. So to crop it, uh, let me crop it like this, save it. And now if I go into my gallery, I will be able to see this image as well. Right. One thing which you have to remember is that you have to give the two permissions to this app that is storage and your camera. So here we are inside the Android Studio and let me now show you the uh, the actual working of the app through this, uh, through the code. Uh, first and foremost thing is let us uh, have a look at the manifest. So like I said, you need to take permissions for uh, camera and uh, external storage, so which we have done. And we also uh, are informing the manifest for the feature that we're going to use that is the hardware camera. Apart from that, there's nothing else special here to discuss. So let's go to the layout. This layout is basically representing the main activity, uh, the main activity, which is a launcher activity. And uh, this is the activity underscore main. So we will go to activity underscore main and now discuss what is really happening here. Uh, there's a simple relative layout, uh, which is having a toolbar widget inside it. So we have basically customized the activity underscore main a little bit. We have put a, a toolbar inside it. The ID is toolbar. And then we have an image view below it. This image view is used to display the image after getting captured or uh, after getting cropped by the app, right? So this is the uh, layout. Now let's go to uh, our main activity. The main activity is pretty simple actually. Uh, we have a couple of references that we have made here. Toolbar, image view, file, bitmap, and there is a file object named as path which is basically representing the path up till the directory picture. So this is where we want our images to get stored after they are cropped. And we have already established a path which we can use later. Here we have a URI class object, which uh, will help us to, you know, uh, define paths. Uh, this is, there are a couple of intents that we are using, cam, camera intent, gallery intent and crop intent. Uh, we have a request permission code is equal to one, which we will be using later. And then let's talk about the on create method. This method gets launched whenever the app gets launched. Uh, there's this layout, which we've already seen. Then we have uh, basically prepared an object of toolbar like this. Uh, the ID is available inside the activity underscore main. Then we are setting the title as crop image. If you remember, you saw crop image at the top. So this is uh, from where uh, the that ID is, uh, sorry, the title is uh, reaching. Then we have set support action bar, a method which sets the action bar. And in, uh, in our case, we have put the toolbars object as action bar. So this is what will be, you know, being used uh, to do all the actions on in this activity. Now, uh, the image view object is getting created and then we are creating a permission check here. Uh, the app that I showed you in the demo uh, was already installed on my phone and had already been used. And that's why nobody asked you for permission. But when you will run this app for the first time, there will be a permission that will be asked. 
uh, and the permission that will be asked will be only for camera i have not put the uh, the other permission in that is storage uh, in the code so you will have to yourself go inside the settings and then the, give the permission for storage as well because i've not put that permission seeking in the code here right if you don't uh, if you don't know how to do that let me know in the comments i'll include that as well and then uh, in case uh, you know at any point in time when the when this app realizes that the permission to camera is not been given then you will get receive a post message because of this uh, this is basically a, a recent initiative by android in wherein the users of the app are given a rational a reasoning why they should be giving permission for camera and i think that's a very very smart thing done by android because uh, if a user denies a permission then they should be informed why this permission is important right uh, here is on create options menu this method is taking care of the menu part uh, uh, so there is this menu that we have to deal with it's an xml file normal xml file which has got two items inside it camera and gallery uh, these are the two icons that you were seeing in the demo and we have put show as action always and that's why you saw these two icons at the top uh, they are always present there uh, there are a couple of other options which you can give here you can also give if room or you know something else uh, but be, but but because we want them always to show up that's why we have put always there now we have main activity here in the main activity we are uh, now finding out uh, which item has been selected from the menu so that's how we are doing it if the user has clicked on camera then uh, camera open method is called and if the user has clicked on gallery the image icon then the gallery open method is being called these two methods are being defined by us only we will discuss them now so if the user clicks on gallery open in that case uh, there is an intent that we are creating uh, this is intent the name of the intent is gal intent uh, the object is getting created and the action that you have to provide is action take the intent's job is to just go inside the uh, you know the media store dot images dot media and uh, find uh, and then you know allow the user to pick one of the items inside this directory that's it so once the user picks that item clicks uh, hits uh, sorry clicks the item in that gallery uh, the intent will return with the result and uh, this result the request code of this intent is two and uh, that's it uh, if you remember this was also shown in the you know uh, in the uh, there was this small pop-up which came up uh, which said select image from gallery right after that uh, uh, this image once this uh, this intent is fired with the request code 2 then when the results are received then on activity result is called uh, this will first check what is the request code because we are going to call this method for different uh, different intents so first we will check what request code are we talking about in our case in this case we are right now talking about request code 2 so um, this is the this is where the control or execution will come we will check if data is not equal to null data is nothing but the returning intent and if it is not equal to null then m uri is equal to data dot get data so what we are doing is we are storing that image uh, in uri object here and data dot get data helps us to store uh, get the image from that data intent and finally we are calling crop image crop image is another method which is uh, present here so crop image is here uh, when it is called we are again creating another intent uh, the action is crop uh, this is something which android has uh, devised on their own and we can simply use it you have to set data and type as muri and image slash asterisk and then we put some couple of extras uh, so this basically tells us you know what kind of output are we desiring and give give it some kind of coordinates you can change these coordinates as per your requirement we put some extras here and then we start activity for result and this time the request code has been put as one right so this one uh, will again be you know we will because we will again be coming back to our uh, on activity result and when the uh, this time when we hit on activity result uh, this part of the execution will take place uh, we will basically get all the data from uh, this uh, we will basically put all the data from data in uh, data intent uh, inside this bundle and then find the bitmap or pick the bitmap from that bundle and finally set the image in the image view
right and here we've also called the save method save is basically doing the uh, job of saving this image the cropped image in the external directory uh, so that's that's uh, if you if you have been following this channel we have already discussed this part so i'll not uh, spend my time again on this in case you haven't uh, seen this you can check out videos in where uh, we were learning how to store any image in external storage right so i have used the same code here and uh, that's it uh, there's another uh, thing which was for camera so in case the user wants to click a picture and then crop it then uh, camera open will be called camera open is here uh, it's a very simple intent uh, execution wherein uh, we are first mentioning the action image capture as action and then we are creating in uh, file object here because uh, we also need to pick the file uh, that has been created after the image has been captured we are storing it in the uri object and then again we are putting uh, you know these extras here and then starting the activity uh, if you remember uh, that you know after this activity it is, uh, returns with the result uh, the request code is zero so uh, if you remember the crop image was also called automatically right so this is how, why it happened uh, we have put crop image here if re request code is equal to zero and request result code is equal to result okay so that's about it. Uh, that's how you can uh, create an app which clicks an image or picks an image from gallery and crops it and then saves it back to your uh, own Android phone. That's it. Please, uh, you know, if you have any questions, please let me know and like the like the video and share it with your friends and please subscribe to the channel. Uh, let me know if I can create more videos which will help you out. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye bye.